In this video, you will learn how to add discussion forms to your course. So the first thing you need to do is go to the course tools and go to the discussion board. So at the very top level, we have a discussion board called um, BB3. This is the course code of this course. So we need to put discussion forms inside this. So select that and we need to create a form. We don't have anything at the moment. So in this course, we might have a form for each of the modules that we study. So let's create a form. And we're doing module two, so let's have a form for module two. And a description forms for module two, something simple. Make it available. Um, we don't have any date or time restrictions on it. Um, these are all the different forum settings. At the moment, these three defaults allow users to reply with a quote, allow file attachments, and allow members to create new threads. So within a form, you can, you can create threads as well. So make sure that these three are checked. Subscribe and do not allow subscriptions. So these, these four checked will, will probably be more than OK. Uh, we don't want any members to rate posts. You can if you want. Um, or you can have moderation. Force moderation on posts. You might want this as well. So when somebody posts something, this will automatically come back to, to you as a teacher to moderate. If it's OK, then you can let it go onto the forum. Grading, um, there's no grading in forum, but you can if you want to grade discussion forum. You can put in the uh, rubrics if you want. You can just add in your points here. And the, the needs grading status are for every. So if somebody posts, um, then it appears in the needs grading area of the grade book. So we'll just have no grading in the forum. And then click on Submit. So we've added, the, added module two there, description with posts, nothing in it at the moment. So let's create a forum. Sorry, let's uh, click into that. And as you can see here, we have nothing started. So we, we might want to add threads in, in here. We've set it up so that students can add their own threads as well. So that's why it's important to make forums for each module, because otherwise you'll have too many threads being created. So the first thread, just click, click on create thread, let's call it possessive adjectives. So in the previous activity, um, the students in their journal, they, they wrote sentences. So put your sentences from the journal into this form for other students to read. Something like that. So there's the instruction. You can add an attachment if you want. Uh, let's just click on Submit. So we have the thread here. So possessive adjectives thread. If we click on it, and students can use the reply button here. They can take a quote as well. So once we've seen that, it's OK. So we've set up the discussion forum. Now we want to add this to our um, learning modules. So let's go back to course content. Go into learning modules again. Module 2. So now we need to add the discussion form to um, a learning area. So we, we've gone into the learning module, Module 2, Families, and we want to add the interactive to discussion board. So select the discussion board forum, Module 2. Click on Next. So the link name is Module 2, and we might want to make it um, so that student knows what it is, discussion forum. Uh, we have to put in the some instructions for the student. Once that's done, we make it available, track number of views, we leave it open, and then click on submit. So we scroll down. Now we can see the discussion forum. That's the link title. We've got the instructions here for the students. Let's have a look at it in student mode. So edit mode is off. We go to the discussion forum, opens up in a new window. So possessive adjectives. So that's been posted there. Students can reply here. Reply, put in a reply, and then submit. Click on Submit. So the reply has been added. Click on OK to close it down. 